That's a scene from 1975's The Giant Spider Invasion, in which we see a giant spider web strong enough to stop a speeding vehicle. Now, the giant spider here is purely fictional, but the strength of its web holds up to scientific scrutiny. <laughs> Giant movie spiders are always showing off the strength of their web, whether they're supporting the weight of an Ewok or an entire web widow domicile. If anything, the giant spider webbing doesn't get enough respect in films. And if you don't believe us, just consider that some varieties of spider silk are five times as strong as an equal mass of steel and twice as strong as an equal mass of Kevlar. Plenty of insects produce silk, a fine, continuous protein fiber they generally use to cocoon delicate larvae. But the arachnids perfected silk spinning to an even greater art form, a marvel of engineering that humans are still trying to exploit and replicate. Let's take you through the process. Spiders have special glands that secrete silk proteins dissolved in a water-based solution. The spider pushes the liquid solution through long ducts, leading to microscopic spigots on the spider's spinnerets. And generally, there are two or three spinneret pairs located at the rear of the abdomen. As the spigots pull silk molecules out of the ducts and extrude them, the molecules stretch and link together to form long strands. Finally, the spinnerets wind these strands together to form the sturdy silk fiber. But what master weaver limits themselves to a single type of thread? Most spiders boast multiple silk glands, which secrete different types of silk material for different purposes. By winding these different silk varieties together, spiders can form a wide range of fiber materials. Now, it's easy to think of spider silk as pure organic silly string, but spiders are engineers at every level of their web design, right down to the specific geometric configuration of structural proteins. They might create silk strands that uh, consist of an inner core and an outer tube, or perhaps one coated with a waterproof or sticky layer to maximize efficiency. The end result is an incredibly strong yet flexible material, and unlike the threads of domesticated silkworms, it proves ever elusive to master for our own human designs. After all, spiders are solitary and carnivorous. They don't really do the whole domestication thing, they'll just eat each other. Sure, a couple of individuals in history have found the patient to harvest silk from individual spiders and weave them into small tapestries and garments. But it's hardly the stuff of industry. No, for that, scientists have turned to the worlds of synthetic biology, producing transgenic spider silkworms and web-milking goats. They've attempted to replicate the necessary proteins in the lab, but have yet to reproduce the stuff a common orb spider spins so naturally. But we keep trying, because the possibilities for such an arachnid metamaterial are endless, ranging from the tethers for a space elevator to improved biomedical adhesives, lab-grown organ scaffolding, and organic optics for biosensors. And I guess you could outfit a superhero with a wrist-mounted web slinger, but doesn't that seem like a bit of a waste now? Hey, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out these three videos as well. And don't forget to visit us at StuffToBlowYourMind.com. Most spiders are less dangerous to us than we are to them. Still, lots of people find them creepy. We're built to spot and be wary of erratic motion, you know, like a skitter out of the corner of your eye. But arachnids are awesome. Here are a few of my favorites. Does the mere sight of an eight-legged horror start your sweat pouring and your nerves tingling? Your aversion to spiders might be a bit overblown, but are humans hardwired to fear them? So over the years, humans have imported other animals from all across the world. Sometimes it's because the species is just so cute that we have to take it out of its natural environment. But if the species doesn't have a natural predator in their new home, they can become a problem all their own. 